I'm yoga teacher and yoga therapist Lydia Sass. Welcome to the fifth in this six part series of Yoga From Home, brought to you by Dunleary Ratan Libraries. Today's class is going to be yoga for better sleep. We all know that getting good sleep is super important and it can be really tough sometimes to fall asleep and also to get good quality sleep when we are asleep. So in today's class, I'm going to be focusing on techniques that are going to help you calm your nervous system, ease out any aches and pains that might be in your bodies for the day, and allow yourself to come into that calmer, more restful space for good sleep. So all you need for today's practice is a mat and a cushion or a bolster. And why don't you grab those things and then come join me in a minute. Okay, so here we are on the mat and we're going to get ourselves into a comfortable seated position. You can have your legs crossed or you can have them straight out in front of you or you can be kneeling if you prefer that too. And we're going to start with a nice calming meditation and breath work. So I'd like you to bring your left hand to your heart, your chest, your right hand to your belly, elbows falling into the sides of the body, shoulders dropping down, and just close your eyes. For these first few moments, all you need to do is arrive into the room, arrive onto your mat and allow your body to settle into that calmer space. Let go of all the events of the day and just begin to notice how does my body feel in this moment? Is there anything I can do to make my body more comfortable? Is there any tension that I'm carrying in my body that I could just simply let go? traveling around your body with your mind's eye and visiting any common areas of tension, forehead, temples, the lower jaw, the shoulders, the hips, the knees, the lower back. And as you visit each one of those in turn, just simply invite a little bit of softness into the muscles, a little bit of a release. Every exhale is a chance to let go. Checking in with the space beneath your bottom hand and making sure that as you inhale, the belly is filling with air and as you exhale, the belly is empty. Nice, deep, calm belly breaths. Bringing us back to ourselves. very slowly with your eyes still closed bring the palms of the hands to touch in front of the chest and we're going to rub them building some heat into the hands telling telling the nervous system very gently that we're coming back into our moving practice and then we bring each one of those warm hands over your eyes and just press the hands around the eyes palpate around the eye sockets bringing circulation and lubrication back to the eyes. Taking the eyes open into the darkness of the hands, inhale and grow tall. And exhale, release coming back into the room. Welcome. Let's just lean back and stretch our legs out. So get nice big circles with the ankle. We'll just get some circulation moving in the legs. 
can be a little stiff when you first sit like that if you're not used to it. We'll change that direction, moving everything through. And then let go, shaking loose. Okay, we're gonna come back in. We're gonna sit into Baddha Konasana for our breathing exercise. So soles of the feet together, letting the knees drop down. We're creating this lovely openness in the lower body and this spaciousness in the upper body. We're gonna practice a breathing exercise called alternate nostril breath. This breath practice is really good for calming and focusing the mind. It's really good also if you have any stuffiness in your nose or you're prone to sinus congestion. It's a really lovely one to do before bedtime, just to bring everything in the body back down into that quieter, more introspective place. I'm going to do the most simple version of alternate nostril breath today. There are many more versions that you might learn on the internet, but this one is the simplest and it's really effective. I'm going to take our thumb up and we're going to block off our nostril. We're going to breathe in through the open side nostril. And at the top of the inhale, I'm going to close that over with my index finger and open the thumb side nostril. And I'll breathe out of the opposite side nostril, the thumb side. When I get to the end of the exhale, I'll inhale through the same side. At the top, I'll close it over, open the other side and breathe out that side. So it's a triangular shaped breath. You're breathing up the nostril towards the center point of the eyebrow exhaling down the opposite side, inhaling up the same side, and exhaling out the opposite side. I'll guide you through it. So let's start together. Closing off that nostril, the thumb, breathe out the index finger side. Close off that side, breathe out the thumb side. Breathe in the thumb side. Close, breathe out the index finger side. Inhale, same side. Exhale, opposite 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 side. Last time, inhale, same side. And exhale, opposite side. When you exhale fully, let your hand drop. And we take two breaths through both nostrils. You may notice that you're breathing more free through your nostrils and your sinuses now and that you just feel a little bit more centered in the body. Okay, let's start moving with some circular movements. We'll circle round in our Baddha Konasana position and we're just observing where is the movement possible in the body. Maybe it's really tight at the end of the day, maybe you've done a little standing or sitting, in which case we just go very gently. You could also do this whole practice on your bed if you wanted to, or you could fall asleep. And then we're going to come back to the centre. Let's inhale our arms up through the centre. And as we exhale, hinge forwards and drop your hands where they land. Maybe they land on the feet, maybe the ankles or the calves. Press into the feet or the calves or the ankles and inhale, draw length forwards from the chest between the arms. As you exhale, drop your head, bend the elbows and fold in and let the whole body just hang out here. On the side of the knees, dropping to the floor. Feel as if you're breathing into the back of your body. Identify that area between the shoulder blades. And feel like your inhale is filling up that area. Our 
forward folds are deeply calming. Moving our gaze forward, walk the hands back up the legs and come to sitting tall. I'm going to take my hands under the knees and lift them up and then straighten the legs out, pointing and flexing the toes. I'm going to bend my knees a little, keeping my legs straight, and I'm going to inhale again. As I exhale, I hinge forwards from the waist, and when my back wants to round, I drop my hands. Hopefully, they come to round my feet, maybe it's the ankles. And I'm going to press my hands into my feet and my feet into my hands and look forwards. And here you can feel the more you push your feet, the more you're going to get a stretch in those shoulders. And so we want to ease off and then press and ease off and press. And all we're doing here is kind of flossing out of the shoulder muscles, getting rid of any tension that might have crept in during the day. Especially if you're watching this in the colder season, we often hunch our shoulders and brace ourselves against the cold and we can hold a lot of tightness then in that area that we want to get rid of in order for us to have a nice restful sleep. One more big breath. And then release, coming all the way up, fold your legs back in. We're going to take our hands behind the head, interlink the fingers behind the head here. We're going to twist all the way to the left and look back past our elbows as we drop our shoulders down and breathe. And then we'll come back to the center and we'll twist to the other side. And we'll come back to the center and now we'll take little circles with our upper torso here. So we're just loosening out all of the common areas of tension in the body so that when you come to lying down in your bed, your body is able to rest fully with no aches and pains distracting you from sleep. And all the time maintaining deep, slow breathing from the belly, which sends that relaxation response signal to the nervous system. And we'll come back to the center. Let's spread our arms wide. Draw the backs of the hands back, open the chest, inhale, look up. Exhale, turn the palms to face back, look down. And so we inhale, open the chest. And exhale, fold it down. Inhale. And exhale. So we're opening for the shoulder joints, scapula, the chest muscles. The chest can get very taut, very tight, and very short when we sit for long periods. Or if you have little ones and you're picking them up and carrying them up. And we'll come all the way back up. Inhale. Exhale, take it over to the side and we'll fold here. Staying nice and steady, let your ear drop towards your shoulder. And we're going to walk that hand out a little further. Maybe fold a little deeper, releasing and releasing and releasing from there. And then folding all the way back up and we'll take it over to the other side. Let the neck go. And then we'll walk that hand out a little further. And then up to the center. Now we'll do one breath per movement. So inhaling over, exhaling back to the other side. Keep the breath slow and steady. all the way back to the center and let's loosen out those arms you should feel a little freer already and then shake loose okay i'm going to come up to kneeling i'm going to take my cushion out of the way and i'm just going to come from here open my knees really wide and i'm sitting back down in this kneeling position you should feel that this is lovely and open into the chest here i'm going to take my right arm up and bring my right hand down onto the back of my shoulder Grab the elbow, lift it up and draw it back, sinking the shoulder blade down. I'm going to push the right hand side of my head into the arm here and breathe. And 
and then you're going to fold over to the side, opening up that right side of the body, drop the left shoulder so there's space between the ears. And then coming back to the centre, roll the shoulders again. And then I'm going to lift my left arm up and drop the hand down. Lift and cup the elbow, draw it back, descend and breathe, left side of the head into the left arm. And then I'm going to fold to the side, drop the right shoulder. And then come all the way back to the center and loosen out. Hands onto the knees. Draw the hands back, arch as you look up. Exhale, tuck the pubic bone towards the face, round as you soften. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Keep going. Moving the whole of the spine here, loosening out any kinks or clicks that might be in the spine. Last one. And then come back up to the top. From now we're going to walk our hands all the way forwards and bow down. So child's pose, one of the most important poses we can use for restful sleep. If you're on your bed, you can always have a pillow underneath your arms or your head here, it can feel really nice. And then just doing a gentle rocking side to side. And then looking up, and I'm going to walk my right hand to the right and my left hand on top and bow down here. walk my hands through the center line over to the other side and bow down here and breathing then look up and walking the hands all the way back through finding my kneeling position again and reaching my hands back and softly moving them across the body here Okay, I'm going to bring my knees together and I'm going to come round to my all fours position. Wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips, tops of the feet on the floor here. I'm going to hover my right foot and hover my knee and just circle out of my knee here. So draw nice big circles with the knee on the floor, waking up the hips. And then I'm going to kick that foot all the way back up. Now from this position, spread your fingers and I'm going to kick my foot up and look up and then bring my knee towards my nose and round. So I inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. One more. And bring the knee back down. I'm just going to sway my hips from side to side, loosening everything. I'm going to come back to the centre and I'm going to hover the left knee and circle just like I did on the other side, drawing big circles on the floor with that knee, freeing out that hip. And then come back and I'm going to kick that foot up. Now I'm going to arch as I kick the foot up and I'm going to round as I bring the knee to the nose. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one. And bring the knee down and sink back to my child's pose. This time I'm going to bring my elbows onto the floor and my fingers onto my shoulders. I'm going to walk my elbows forward and let my head rest onto the ground or onto a pillow or a cushion. Nice opening for the shoulders and the arms. And resting here, calming everything down. 
squeezing out into the sides of the ribs. Another deep breath in. Bring the hands forward and ripple to roll. Bring the body all the way back up and swing the arms. From here, I'm going to bring my hands behind me, interlink the fingers, draw the hands away, open the chest, just arch the spine here. Breathe into that nice open chest. I'm going to bring those interlinked fingers into a little bundle on the side of the waist. I'm going to draw my elbow back and draw my ear to my shoulder. So from the front, this is what that looks like. Just opening up the neck. Releasing any tension. And then I'm going to turn my chin towards my armpit and look down again and breathe. Bringing my head all the way up to the center. I'm going to take that bundle over to the opposite side, bring the elbow back in and look to this side. Allow that stretch to come into the neck. And then I'm going to bring my chin down and tuck it in and breathe here. And bring my head all the way back up to the center. From here, draw my hands back and up. I'm going to fold in. My hands come up over the head and I curl myself into this little tiny ball here, squeezing the shoulder blades together, lifting the hands high. And then release, press into the hands, and roll all the way back up, and rolling out the shoulders. And shake loose, and let go. Okay, we're going to take my hands in front of the knees and tuck my toes under. I'm going to press back up into a little squat, and we're going to do what's called a tulip squat today. So we're going to keep our toes facing forwards, and our knees squeezing in. We're going to bring our hands up onto the knees, press down into every toe, and it's easier to take your gaze forwards here, forwards and down onto the floor. And you're just going to rest with your hands on your knees. Sometimes this pose is done with the arms above the head, but for today we're just going to keep our drishti, our gaze down to bring that internal focus, that calmness that we want for sleep. And all we're going to do is focus on our balance. So the balance pose is really good for regulating everything in the body, really good for calming. And we really want to soften and decrease tension in the upper body and feel like we're supported by the lower body. Breathing into the rib cage. Last big breath here. And then release your hands onto the floor, come back to your knees. From here, we're going to do a little moving sequence. So it's going to look like this. Inhale to arch. Exhale to round. Inhale to child's pose. Exhale, let your elbows down, swoop forwards and come up. So we inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, sink back. Exhale, lower it up. And inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, and all the way back up. We're going to take our knees wide, big toes together and sit back into that child's pose position again. From here, we're going to open the right arm all the way up. And as you exhale, thread that arm all the way under till your shoulder comes down. You can extend the left arm forwards. This is called thread the needle. And I'm going to breathe here into this lovely twist. Letting the shoulder release, letting the bottom arm soften, let the head be supported.
and bring the left hand back in front of your right hand, press down into the ground and open the arm all the way up to the sky and bring it back down again. Look forwards with your chest, we'll go to the other side, inhale opening, exhale threading it under, slide your right arm forwards, lay your head down on the left hand side and breathe. slowly, slowly bring your hands forwards, walk all the way back up and stay loose. Okay, bring your knees together and we're going to sit back down. So from here we're going to come to lying down on our backs and we're going to cross the ankles and have the hands onto the knees and we're going to finish with a little rocking. So I'm just going to get you to rock along the length of your spine here. It's really good for balancing the eustachian fluid in the ear canals, for unblocking the sinuses, and also just bringing release to the whole of the spinal column and letting the busy mind quieten down. Last one. And then from here, laying yourself back down onto your back. We'll bring our arms out to a T shape. We'll walk our feet as wide as our mat and drop our knees to the left and take our gaze to the right and breathe here. It's a nice supine twist, releasing the weight of the body into the mat or the bed, whatever you're practicing on. We'll bring our head and our knees back to the center and drop them off to the opposite side. everything back to the center and we'll finish with Bananasana. So I'm going to stretch our feet out and I'm going to cross my left ankle over my right and I'm going to take the whole of my legs to the right and then I'm going to reach up and grab my left wrist with my right and reach the hands and the arms over to the right and look to the right. So my whole body is a banana shape to the right and I believe here. Beautiful stretch on the left hand side of the body. And we come back to the center, take the left leg over, cross the right on top, change the hands, bring them over to this side, look to this side and breathe. And then bring everything back to the center, take a big full body stretch and then circle the wrists and circle the ankles, walk the feet back in, hug the knees to the chest, squeeze them in, give them a couple of nice squeezes here, and then circling all the way around, place the feet down, roll to the side, slowly find your way back up to sitting with a nice tall spine, Starting the neck. And we'll bring our hands together and bow our head to our hands in honour of the beautiful day that we've had. And then we'll bow forwards in honour of each other. Namaste. Thank you so much for practising with me. Hope you feel nice and rested and calm now and ready for a beautiful sleep. If you enjoyed this video, you can find other videos in this series on the Dun Weary Rack Down Yogi YouTube channel. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you on the mat soon. Goodbye.